Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm uh, here today with just a small upvote video and the last deck before I ever I'll probably play in Blitz. It's Reiner. I thought I would never play a Brute, but you know, here we are. And I'll just go through the deck real fast. I'm not gonna like put a deck list because this is gonna basically change because this is a very rough draft. But um, Reiner, Gauntlets, Iron Rat Helm because I don't have, you know, Arcanite, Iron Rat Legs because I don't have um, Scabskins, then this, then I got the Claws, the Club, and then just a three-piece set of, uh, Narun, except the Harn Cross Shad, because I want to use that. So, I played this, uh, two, two days, yeah, today on Sunday, yesterday on Sunday. Saturday, I went, um, 2-1, and on Saturday, I just used the Club, because I didn't have to... Claws, I met a nice, really nice guy. He gave me the other claw, so I mean, it's the same, but it doesn't really matter to me that they're the same. I, I'm just glad I have two. He gave me the claw. I also, he gave me a Reckless Swing, and he gave me an Alpha Rampage. And I also tried Snapdragon day one. I don't like that. I just switched it for more armor, because that's what Scapskin is, if you think about more armor. I also tried Tunic day one. Don't like that. This feels much better in Blitz because you have less health and you can just really get big turns and shoot out some energy slash mana. Pretty standard setup. Um, still need to get used to when to use this over the claws. That's the biggest thing. I, But that's going to be practice and a lot of practice. So let's just go through this. This isn't in order. I have two Blood Rush Bellows. Um, really great card and really good with claws over the club. Barging Beatdown, I run six. Uh, Savage String, I run four. Two yellow, two red. Two sand sketch plans, uh, just really good. I don't usually use them, but pitching a blue, like Blood Rush, uh, here, this is actually the, yeah, because I showed this off. Brush and beat down, intimidate once, right? Then you Blood Rush Bellow, pitching a blue, two resources, discard Savage String, another intimidate, draw two cards, two resources, with your claws on there, five, you have two. No matter what you draw, you can just attack twice for five, and they only have two cards, and this will be nine, unless they, you know, defend, so it's like, Really good in that sense. Um, if you get other attacks, you can do that. But yes, I'm just throwing the deck. Sorry, I forgot. Massacre, I only have one, so I only run one. Really good card if you uh, discard. Smash Instinct, I run four. Um, red and yellows. Tail Limb for Limb, I only have one. Reckless Sting, like I mentioned, I only have one. I couldn't figure out how I want to put this while also showing the cards. Uh, Savage Swing, Savage Swing, as I said. Run four. Rile it up. I don't really like this. I never played it, but I don't have any other six yellows, so run two of those. Two Breakneck Battery Reds. On turns, you might be able to go red. Here's the yellow scent. Aging Onslaught. I actually bought another Alpha Rampage. I had two Pummels on day one that I replaced for Alpha Rampage at the the guy gave me and a reckless swing that the guy gave me and then I got another alpha range range so I got rid of the other raging onslaught. He has one of the six brush and beatdowns. Two, I think four primeval bellows, two yellow, two blue. I like them for the pitch cost but I don't know how useful they are. One of the alpha ramp bridges, four wrecker romps, two yellows, two blues. <clears throat> right in that room. Two palping red, extremely good card, don't know what else to say. Uh, that's all the Smash Instincts over there. These are all the Savage Swings. Cool. Uh, just, uh, I think that's it, right? I don't know. Am I missing something? Where's the Breakneck Battery? There's the Pulp in. Um, we got two Alpha Rampages, of course. Two Blood Rush Bellas. Four Wrecker Omps. Oh, two Barraging Bighorns. If I had the yellow ones, I'd probably replace a, not a Smash Instinct, a Wrecker Omp for the yellow ones. Uh, two Wrecker Omp Yellows and two... Two barraging bighorn yellows? Maybe. I don't know. Probably. I, I, and it, oh, well, actually, I'd get rid of Rile it up first. I don't use this. But also, I don't know. There's a lot of balancing. And then two sand sketched, of course. I had the other sand sketched, but I lost it under somewhere. Yeah, it's over there. Um, so yeah, that's just, this is a very rough draft. And that's why I'm not, like, super going over what I have. Because it's going to change. Probably soon. Probably with Everfest 2, new cards. But that's the last deck, Blitz deck I'll try for. Everfest, <clears throat> I went um, 03 today on Sunday. <coughs> Sorry, I just had a big meal and I usually cough if I eat too fast. 
which is my bad. Uh, but <clears throat> one o three. I first game. I lost to a uh, a Zenta one HP. Like they had two, I had like two. I think two, and I was just trying to get the reckless swing. Uh, it's literally the bottom card of my deck. I wish I was exaggerating. Bottom card of my deck. Oops, just touched my cat with my foot. And I just lost. Second game, it was down to two, one again. That's like reckless swing. It was the. It wasn't the bottom. It was near the bottom. I think it also didn't matter because that game. Um. Hold on, I have to check with my sister. I don't know what my sister. I'll have to look after this video. Uh, but that second game, I didn't matter because that game finished in like five turns. Uh, so like, I never got a chance to get to the bottom. That first game, I was literally like one or one turn off drawing it or something. It was like, it was a long game and I just never drew it because at the bottom, I was like so close to cycling and it just never happened. It was like, oh my God, like, oh, it's just frustrating. Second game didn't really matter because it ended so fast. Third game, it was the same thing. I think Reckless Swing was basically at the bottom. So three straight games where it's near the bottom and at the bottom. <laughs> it's like, okay. But that one I didn't care about because I was already 0-2 at that point. What's the difference between 0 3 and 0 2? Not much. So that was fine. So I definitely want another Reckless Swing now that I, I didn't even get to play with it. That card could have been literally anything because I never drew it. But I had to play two. Double the chances of drawing it. Also, very good. A blue pitch. You can just stack it later. Um, and all these blue pitches are really nice. Plus, like it's, it's, it's a way to win the game. Very nice. That's my thoughts. <clears throat> so I got three packs. I already opened them. Three packs on Saturday, one pack on Sunday today, the pity consolation pack. Also, you can see that these are from different, uh, printing presses, right? These are first up legend studios on this side, legend studios or studio it's legend story studios on this side. Cool, different printers. I don't know which ones are. Does it say what, where this is printed? I don't know. <clears throat> uh, Legend Story say Limited, Auckland, New Zealand, manufactured by. Is that what it says? Or is that their company? Made in Belgium. So this is Belgian packaging, and this one is Japan, I think. Made in Japan. So yeah, Japanese packaging is this one, right? So these are Belgiums. I don't know which one is better. We'll do a pack one, pick one. And this one's on the bottom today and it's a very special one, let me tell you. <clears throat> so, last weekend before the draft, Nimble Strike Red, Wounding Blow Red, Wounding Blow Yellow, Raging Onslaught Blue, Snapdragon, Sigil of Solace, another Showtime, and hey, an Iron Rod Legs Foil, let's go, two equipments. Uh, and then, Smashing the Blue, to the Builder, Dragon Blade, Light Tap, Sharpen Seal. I'm just gonna throw that over there. Um, <clears throat> so I thought about this one for a bit. Nimble Strike Red's very versatile because you're probably gonna get Nimbleism. Showtime isn't a strong enough card for my opinion to like pick it, pack one, pick one. It's fine, but like setting up and like saying, okay, this is, it's not strong enough for me. Snapdragon is also just really good in my opinion. So I think I would maybe go Snapdragon or Nimble Strike. I don't know which one I would go though, <clears throat> is the problem. They're both like really versatile. I think for equipment wise, I would just pick Snapdragon. Pack one, pick one. Um, I need to pull that. So yeah, that's that. Let's look at this one. Hey, Lucky. That's just one, I just threw the token. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, wounded Blow, blo oh yeah, this was funny. So as you saw, Wounding Blow um, Red Yellow, and now I got Wounded Bull Yellow Blue. Anyways. Slugism, Scarf for Scarf, Blue Box, Oh, this pack, yeah. Oh, okay. I have no idea what to go. Surgeon so, so Strike, red's cool. Is Rumming Gust Rave, red cool? Iron Song Response, red is cool. Let's have a string red, develop it. But then look at this. Like, none, all blue and then a yellow? I don't want that. Blocks for two as well. Class specific armor. Staunch Response, Savage Sweets, yellow, and then Rising Ethos, blue. I have no idea what I would pick. I'd probably be like, okay, I'll just take a staunch response. If I go Guardian, very good. Uh, it happens. If I don't, it's whatever. Like, that's what I would think. But also, then look at these. Like, with a pack like this, I can't even choose the equipment because it's class-specific. And I don't, I don't really want to go this yellow. 
because it blocks for two, like I said. I don't, I really don't like that. Savaging Red's cool. Debilitated Red's cool, but I, I need resources to play it. <clears throat> Einstein Response is cool. So just like, I don't know what this one is going. If you guys could tell me which year would go, let me know. Uh, I have no idea. So last pack from Saturday. Katsu Katsu. Oh, it's Katsu Rocket Club. Whatever, I knew that. Demolition Crew. Nimbleism Red. Sinkable Yellow. Wounding Blow. Iron Red Gauntlet. Lister Fist, Breakneck Battery, Driving Blade, Awakening Bellow, Crush Confidence, Sashing Stonewall, Driving Blade, Surgeon Shake. So this one, a lot more interesting. Nimbleism Red, very good. Sink Blue Yellow, I would even take that. Iron Rod Gauntlet, uh, this pack isn't bad. Like, if there's an Iron Rod in that pack, I would just chose an Iron Rod, but like, hey, there wasn't. Lister Fist, Breakneck Battery, Yellow, Driving Blade, Blue, isn't bad. It's a really good pack. I think I would choose Nimbleism, though. Same, uh, it's very good. Low cost, one or less. That's... Pretty easy to do. Plus three, not bad. Sink below yellow is also a good choice. That's why I would go. And then, I don't know what I would go third. There's so many. Anyways, this pack. Went 03, got this pack. As you can see, it's already, one of them's already slaved, right? Unmovable red, really good. Flock of Featherwalk is yellow, okay. Um, Iron Red Helm, and blue. Flick Flag red, okay. Crippling Crush red, oh! It's a Brave Forge Braces, it happened again. Just a random pack, legendary. But okay, obviously I choose this pack one pick one, but say this wasn't here. If that wasn't here, there's still so many good cards. Unmovable red, flick flack red, clipping crush red. This is a great pack. Like there's so much you can choose here. I mean, I would probably, if this wasn't here, the Brave Forge, I would probably take the crippling crush red. Uh, it's strong enough on its own for me to like say, okay, I'll take that. Uh, even if I don't go Guardian, I know the Guardian plays won't have it. But then again, you're leaving Flick Flag up red for Ninja plays. It's like, oh my god. And then you're leaving an, a generic unmovable up red. That's crazy, right? Such a good pack. But yeah, <laughs> go 03, get a, get a pack, and you get a legendary. Insane. I is so... Wow. That was cool. So I now have Mask, uh, Tunic... And, um, what's it? Oh, these ones. Yeah, Brave Forge Braces. So three out of five legendaries. I actually jokingly said, okay, I so said, I go 03. I'm going to open, you know, Scabskin. And I open this. Which is like, hey, I'll, I'll take that. It's not Scabskin, but it is better than Scabskin. I need to sleeve these up. But yeah, so that's it, guys. I just want to do a quick couple of updates and then some more pack one pick ones. I don't know if I'm going to show off my every single deck I draft, because I think you draft like twice per event, right? So it's like, it could be up to um, four decks. That's that's a lot. So I might just like exp tell you guys how it went, and um, that's probably be it. But I'm excited for it. I'm really excited. And uh, I'm excited to draft some cool new cards. Probably not that new. I mean, like, hopefully I get a Legendary since we're opening so many packs. Hopefully someone gets one. Um, yeah, just really fun. And I'm just happy to get this. I'm happy to play against two Mechanologists with Brute Deck learning matchups. Yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys. I'll try and upload this, hopefully by Wednesday. I don't know. 